This is a series intended to make you think for yourself. Don't let anyone misguide you when it comes to your own safety. Feeling safe doesn't mean you are, not even in the sanctity of your own home. Right now, electricity and the electromagnetic waves are traveling through your body and you don't know what damage it is causing. So, watch this series and you will quickly realize that claiming that science knows best it is the most dangerous statement that anyone can make, especially in construction. Stick with us and I will explain. For this video, I had to go back and reach out into history and fish out a great example of how the advancements of science created many of the problems that we have today. So hit like and subscribe to the channel. We are here to bring you quality content every week and your health is very important. If you didn't know, when Queen Victoria died in 1901, her son, Edward VII, took her place as a ruler, becoming a new king in the United Kingdom. After he took over, it was a period of amazing inventions. But it was also a time when developments of science created new solutions ridden with dangers that the same science is still trying to solve to this day. Ugh. During that time, homes were upgraded with fascinating new devices that were first seen then. And this first generation of devices will still resemble those that we use today, like a light switch or a light bulb. Right after the Victorian period, the most amazing invention that science brought to us, increasing our standard of living as we know today, was without a question, electricity. Electrical power was first offered to households and along with it, new devices were invented and introduced to houses adapted to this amazing new invention. But there was a catch, thousands had to die so that science could catch up with its own developments, solving problems that households had never experienced before. First, we had windows. Later, homes were outfitted by kerosene lamps and candles, or the more modern ones were provided with gas lamps. Finally, after that, we got the light bulb. <laughs> Sure, it was clear that the science of the period was not that developed, but that was the science as they knew it. And scientists were regarded as the greatest minds, inventors of new amazing tools and deliverers of the great solutions. Interestingly, we still rely on scientists to deliver us from evil. Something to think about. It is easy to see that windows would not cause much danger to the home dwellers unless they forgot that the window was open and weird creatures crawled in. And another downside is that light only comes in through a window during the day. <laughs> what a surprise. Kerosene and gas lamps could provide light at the darkest hours. Unfortunately, relied on fire, but humans have an innate respect for fire. So precautions to handle those lamps were based on common sense. But then came along that marvelous scientific development, electricity. During the reign of Edward VII, which some people call the Edwardian period, homes are outfitted with bare wires that run from knob to knob, touching all sorts of materials. There was no common sense here or innate fear to guide anyone to handle electricity. At the very beginning, wires were bare, and quickly, after a few accidents, everyone saw the need to cover them. And scientists came up with the amazing solution of covering them up with paper, lead, and cloth. An immediate solution, but unfortunately, these materials were also flammable. Oh! Let's point out that electrical insulation was not needed before electricity, so you shouldn't expect science to offer an immediate solution to what scientists had never dealt with before. 
Isn't it interesting that up to today, we take their expertise for granted, especially for things that no one ever dealt with before? Things to think about. Here's another fact of electricity history. Since electricity cannot be seen with your naked eyes, and electrical currents travel to a variety of conductive materials, including human flesh, <laughs> it was quickly a mess of accidents, electrocution deaths, and inexplicable fires that were blamed on rodents, roof leaks, and obviously on the improper use of the technology that helped scientists develop new insulators to the new technology. Sure, it's easy to blame the user, especially because there were not that many uses for electricity anyway, but electrical insulators were obviously something that had to come to mind on the initial development of the electrical uses. Am I right? The scientists had to have burned themselves. 5G towers, anyone? This day and age, home building and scientific knowledge are supposed to be directly related. But unfortunately, many of the rules of building are based on inconsistent science, which can cause a lot of problems, even death. Does this sound as unbelievable now, after hearing how electricity came to be what it is today? Hmm? The effects of electrical magnetic current is one of the scary subjects that even scientists steer clear from explaining in public. We can say for sure that also applied to the human brain, the science behind electromagnetic waves is not completed at all, to say the least. There are many more stories like this one, where the history is buried to make you think that Every invention that we use today has always been safe. Our history is only showing the science is directly related to economic gain. So next time you turn on the light switch, try to remember how many lives went into making that possible. As always, Guys Walker here. Thanks for watching another one of our To Make You Think series about construction. In the next episodes, we will touch new green building rules and how it can affect your health. Here at Explanation, we mix science, psychology, construction, and a pinch of conspiracy theory when everything else fails. After all, when conspiracy theories explain something, it's better than leaving you in the dark, isn't it? Ugh. Until the next scary story about your home, subscribe to watch the series. Explanation is here to tell you how it really is. Dig into history and you'll find it!